very hard to caricature people that you like. If I hate them, the job is really easy. All humor, all satire has a kind of wink. It's like, you, you know what I mean, don't you? The obligation, I think, is to be true to, you know, my feelings about the person. The media image, the clothes, the posture. I find Trump very hard to do. But then again, I found Adolf Hitler hard to do. Well, I think first what I see is the, I don't know if girth is the right word, but just there's so much of him there. Uh, there are some people like Richard Nixon and Donald Trump who look like what they are. I think he kind of looks like an American eagle when he looks strong. When he's babbling, it's a parakeet. Caricaturists are going nuts. They're having a, a field day. First of all, we'll start with the hair. Let's go from the top down. That's Trump's hair. It's essentially a beret that is flipped forward on his head. The hair is just totally ridiculous. I don't get it. For me, he already did that job. That's probably why I don't do a lot with his hair. You don't really have eye contact with Donald Trump. I mean, occasionally he'll try to open them and roll them. When I look at his eyes, immediately I see greed, disdain. All of Trump's features are exceedingly small. Uh, they are like piss holes in the snow. And the nose is... It's like it's pinched, marvelously rat-like. Trump's mouth. When it's closed, it really is just kind of a sphincter muscle. You look at his mouth and you see that he's really happy with himself. Actually, all his features are like he's not letting in the world outside him. He has to emphasize his points with his hands. You try to show him as sleazy as, as you can. I think he represents a lot of the worst parts of human nature. He thinks he's being stern, but really he looks like a baby tantrum face. Yeah, I hope you had fun watching me scratch away. <laughs>